This is not a good angle. <laughs> Monday, I have been working on Etsy stuff and some special projects for some friends. So I have all of the stuff that I did today. And I also have a second Etsy business besides the wood signs where I do custom pillow covers. So this is one that I made that I've sold on Etsy. And they're nice, they have like this zipper enclosure. And so you just put like a 15 inch pillow inside there and it's a cute decorative customized pillow and then I have some friends who are having babies soon and made these for them um, this one is a friend that they were doing IVF just like a few weeks ahead of us through the whole process so she was like a great resource for me whenever I had crazy things happening during our cycle which always ha seems to happen um, she was good to like go talk to and just like make me feel sane again but I had to put all of that stuff on hold because Rusty has a vet appointment. He has just been relentlessly itchy and we got the flea situation under control and he's still just very itchy. He just has like this atopic dermatitis where he's allergic to everything and it makes his skin pink and itchy. So we're headed to the vet to hopefully um, get that under control with maybe injections. So he doesn't know that that's what's happening. You're coming with me. Do you want to go with me? You get to go with me. All right, let's go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look at this guy. <laughs> Rusty, back up. <laughs> this is what's awesome about not working optometry on Mondays. It gives us a chance to like get appointments for Rusty, doctor's appointments, all the things that you need to do during the day, during normal working hours, but you're always working. So I love having Mondays off. Not that I have them off, I do Etsy, but um, jamming. It's nice to not have like a nine to five Monday through Friday. I highly recommend it. You hiding? There's a really mean dog out there. Yeah, he's mean. Freedom! Come on, buddy. I'm waiting to see if he's gonna go poop. I feel like he should with how gassy he was in there. I called that one. So basically, we've just determined that he's still very itchy. She gave him this injection that I guess is supposed to help with allergies. Um, it's not a steroid, so they can do it every two weeks if they need to, but it's like $86. So hopefully um, he doesn't need to be on that long term. And I really think it's just the fleas. Um, she is concerned about our cats, one of them harboring them and reintroducing them to Rusty. and. That sounds likely because he literally had one on him while we were in there. And so she sent me home with a comb. We're gonna sift through both of the cats. If one of them has a ton of fleas on them, we're gonna switch their flea medicine because they're on Frontline. And apparently Frontline just doesn't work very well around here. So that's what I'm thinking is the problem is probably Iris has fleas on her that are jumping over to Rusty, making him itchy. The sucky thing is the injection he got today helps with a lot of allergies, but it does not help with itching because of flea saliva. So I'm not hopeful that that's gonna help, but I am hopeful that we'll get to the bottom of this. The worst part about it is the flea's life cycle is 42 days. So we have to treat everybody at the exact same time, get the carpet treated, 
everything has to happen simultaneously and then we could be waiting 42 days for everything to finally settle down. This is the worst. This is exactly why I've been terrified of police my whole life. <sighs> oh well. Borax is like the ingredient that people who make their own laundry detergent yeah. are wanting to avoid. <laughs> really? <laughs> We're sprinkling it all over our house and living in it for five days. Because they're worried about... Just the chemicals, I think. Awesome. Rusty's had his new flea medicine. Iris has had her new flea medicine and I combed through her really well and didn't find any evidence of fleas whatsoever. And I honestly thought she was the culprit. Rio's on the porch and has her flea medicine. But I haven't combed her yet. Maybe it's her. It would make sense. She spends the most time outside on the porch. Let's hope this works. I want, I want to try it. <laughs> I don't know what to say, honey. Wait, do you want to explain what we're doing? Oh, I think you should. I've been talking the whole vlog. All right. Uh, paying no attention to the sheet on the furniture. We are not doing anything for fleas. Just kidding. <laughs> Rachel used our Amazon rewards points to purchase this baby heartbeat monitor. Very exciting. Let's see if it works. Step one is to lay flat. Step two is to put a liberal amount of gel you could either put it directly on the wand or you could put it on your belly. So then you stick the wand in the gel and you kind of work it around so that it's all covered and you have a good connection, a good solid connection with the gel. You're supposed to have the volume down while you do that because otherwise it'll be really loud, like, like that. And then you, you want to be like on the midline, I guess. And then you push down an angle underneath your pelvic bone, and that's where you'll find it. But it's kind of tedious. That's your heartbeat, right? Yes. So you can hear Rachel's heartbeat right now. There it is. Don't move me, honey. Oh, sorry. You can hear it. Neat. Woo! We haven't heard that before. No, this is the first time hearing the baby's heartbeat. Lost it. Dang it. Wow, it tells you 175, 172. Turn what down? Turn it so she can see that. Oh. Can you see that, Barb? Oh my god. <laughs> can you hear it? I don't know what that is. Can you hear it? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Heartbeats at... 168. Yep. <laughs> this is not a good angle. <laughs> Okay, so you can take that off of me. <laughs> uh, so how cool is that? So that, that's literally our first time hearing the baby's heartbeat. It's amazing. Uh, Rachel found both of the baby's heartbeats. Uh, the first one registered at, I think, 172, and then the other one didn't register, but you could hear it. So really cool. Thanks for watching our video. Shout out to our niece, Brooke, who just finished fifth grade. Excited for her to come visit this summer. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to follow us with our journey. It's getting exciting. Rachel's getting a little bit bigger. The heartbeats are speeding up. It was just really cool to hear it. All right, we'll see you next time.